Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. In the last episode, immediately we met, we, uh, we met back up with Lam Lambert, and uh, discussed our finding in Skellige, and then we tracked down the killer of his friend Aiden. And, yeah, Gad Carradine was living, living it up in Novigrad. He had renounced his ways completely, apparently. Uh, he has a wife. He took in their two kids. Oh, also, by the way, he's a witcher. <laughs> so, huh. Didn't didn't know Yad Carradin was a witcher of the cat school. So that's a whole thing. That makes sense why he was involved the way he was. And... He told the whole story about Aiden, how he... He, they never intended to kill Aiden. They were really there just to be debt collectors. And it was a whole it was a whole thing. He basic Aiden basically botched a, a contract. It didn't go well. The, the the one he was trying to help with the contract died. And he took the money and went. And it was a whole thing. The whole thing, and one of the people that was working for Yad Carradin, uh was the one that killed him. So I deduced he probably did kind of give up all of that. He did. He's a merchant now. He's in Novigrad. Yeah, he's making a lot of money, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. Or not? Okay, doesn't mean that he's still doing fucked up shit. <laughs> That's what I mean. And so realistically, we let him live. We let him live. And our boy Lambert was not happy about that. He was pissed. He was pissed. He was so mad. He was so angry. So we may or may not deal with that in the future. But that's what happened. Now we're going to go help with this contract in the haunted mansion out here. By this, uh, by this nice, by this nice orchard. Wonder what it could be? The guy, the guy who owns it doesn't believe so in ghosts. this is the haunted house. Yo, know, I gotta say, it's kind of a cool place. Just need some, uh, just need some fixing up. Let's check out the perimeter first. Anything anything suspicious outside? Not really. Got a key from the guy, so we're in. Whole oh. building shaking. But a specter would have attacked me already. True. Well, we'll go ahead and... Oh, hell yeah. Enhanced grape shot. We need a lot of crow's eye. That's what we're doing. But... Inhabitants clearly left in a hurry. Yeah. Everything's knocked over. They've been gone, so it's like moldy. She just like wearing sunglasses. She's posing. That's unsettling. Nice. Superior insectoid oil. Sorry, I keep <laughs> keep going to the alchemy, but I'm just like yes. <gasps> all I need is that. That's all I need, and I can have a superior insectoid oil. I know we don't fight insectoid creatures that often, but, uh, okay, cool, we have that. That's great. Um, are those ashes? What? Oh. Scattered 
salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. <laughs> yes, they can't cross the salt line. Oh, this is a weird stacked situation. So, is he trying to protect it from coming down here or keep it down here? Okay. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. Oh yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. Don't you worry. Nice. Okay, let's go through here first. Well, it's not like he's going to use any of this. Let's be real. I'm going to go and take all of your Alkahest. A lot of Alkahest. Okay. Wall seems a little thin. You know what that means? <laughs> Subterranean? Whoa. Okay. No one's been here in a while. Oh, is this going to be one of those, like, uh, elementas? This is just under the city. This is just under here. This is under his house. There's an entire... These caverns. It's crazy. <laughs> Not the root of any ordinary plant. Must be magic. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Looks like a journal. Yeah. A maverick of Serrano's journal. Oh, we got another map. Cool. We, uh... Cat's head pictogram that we had suspected. Oh, is this more cat school stuff? Okay, anyway. <laughs> when dealing with beings of this nature, it is most vital to achieve equilibrium between giving free reign to its will and obstructing it with the fetters of servitude. The sagacious elementist, elementalist who has tamed a magic minion should not heed the sweet yet pernicious urge to unbind the being, for only harm will come of it. Wailing and gnashing of teeth will be the only result. Likewise, he who tightens his servant's yoke overmuch will gain nothing from it, for his enchained being will be to him dumb and dull as a lump of earth. The key is to prepare a proper magic barrier, one whose effectiveness shall be backed by a crystal of power. This crystal is of the utmost importance. If it should break, the barrier shall fail, yet worry not overmuch, for neither axe nor blade can harm it. A barrier thus secured shall serve as the minion's prison without unduly hindering its power. The ability to erect, prop erect it properly, however, demands a high level of proficiency, the kind no mere superficial study or practice can provide. The bunglers and ne'er-do-wells of our profession need not apply. Right. Sounds suitably pompous. <laughs> Must have... Must have du Ducas, Ducas, Ducas. Make a clean copy of this first draft. Prepare for publication. Wonder where that Claude is. I sent him out for cheese and ink ages ago. An earth elemental. Pretty powerful, too. Gotta go deeper. Need to open the passage somehow. This cat school stuff. Okay. So. Huh. Damn. Is an earth elemental. Not the root of any ordinary plant. Must be magic. Could I... I guess I could jump down, right? What could be... What could be... So he's basically writing about... How to... How to really create an elemental and then... Like, actually use it. Nice, that was easy. Something clicked. And basically saying, 
if you if you tighten the leash on it too much, you know, like if you try to control it too too much, it's just gonna be useless. It's not gonna do anything. It's gonna be just a dumb little thing. Um, but if you have the urge to not, uh, to not like I guess essentially just leash it, then. You're gonna you're gonna screw yourself over. Superior. Superior oil. This is gonna be so good. Is this gonna be a big deal? We gotta use the big guns. Now each blow increases attack power. Or crit chance. Crit chance. Yeah, it's just good. Okay, this only lasts for 20 seconds, so I'm gonna not do that. Hmm. I don't think we need anything else. Cool. Because he, uh, clearly, as we can see, created a shield around it. Almost managed to break its magic bonds. A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around. Damn. So that's why everything's shaking, because it's beating against this shield. Ceiling would have caved in if not for this support. This is very frail support. Uh-oh. Ceiling would have caved in if not for this support. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of this thing. The only way to do it. Oh! Okay. Alright, let's go. Ugly bastard. Therizane. That's a good name. Oh, shit. It's a big boy. Come on now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hurts. Not too much, actually. Okay, come on, gotta get back to full health. And we may be able to utilize the decoction completely. Oh, it's so powerful. It's badass. Took it down. Suck it. <laughs> Elemental essence. Earth elemental mutagen. Hell yeah. A trophy, too. And a sword. Fuck yeah. Okay, first off, sword. Not a whole lot better. Not even better. But. <laughs> What's the trophy? Uh, chance to dismember. Yeah, we're gonna keep the lesion on there, cause... It's cool. <laughs> Alright. Is there anything else in this room? Not really. Broke the barrier. Now we're... Now we're done, and it's just gonna stay like this for the rest of its existence. Cool, easy, easy, easy contract. That's not the door. <laughs> well, your your house isn't gonna shake, and to be perfectly honest, it wasn't ghosts. So, 
I mean, hey, that's that. <laughs> so we can go tell him happily. Give him to pay us. We have gold for a lot. I think it was three twenty. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get a good amount of money out of this guy. For what was a really easy contract. But I like it. Why is your ass it's a good time. Alright, the door is around the corner? Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We got a couple of contracts we gotta do too. Oh god. A reaper's come for me. Yes? Here, click the reward. How shouldn't give you any more trouble. A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned. Is it a mistake to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. What an eccentric individual. <laughs> Hell yeah. Another one down. Oh, God. Level 24. The Reaper's come for me. Like work crushing it out here. Making money, making making levels. It's going great. Now, before we go do this one, there was shock therapy, but then there's these ones, and they're they're all really close. So, like close is in like physically close, like we're in the area, but also level wise. We're really close. Hmm. Uh, huh. Let's do this one because it's down in Velen. How far in Velen? Okay, south of Crow's Perch. So not bad. Not bad. We can do that. We can get to that. Easy. Let's go here. And south. Ever heard of preventive arse wounding? When it rains in Valon, everything turns to shit. Like, I imagine it just smells worse. <laughs> and it just, like... It's all dirt and mud and swamp, so it just it just becomes more gross. Whereas in like when it rains in Skellige, it's cool. <laughs> it's like hell yeah. Which I love how Skellige is going so far. It's great. Glad you guys are liking it. I know most of you have seen it already, so it's like... Must know, be Honorton. Village from the Notice. Except, it's awful quiet. A little too quiet. I imagine we got some necrophages. Looks like it. Got an oil for that. Necrophages, great. Oh. How goes? Soul in sight. 
Something evil's been here. Necrophage has appeared after. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, oh shit. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae, severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move. Bled to death. Shit. Is there. So, is there two quests now for this place? Got sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. Damn, that's sad. Ah, oh, it's so sad. Poor dog. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. Is that... Are these, like, precise deaths? Died or? without a fight. Butchered. Jeez. Oh my god. Necrophages tore the body apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Understandably. Jesus. Damn. Sword wounds. Oh. This wasn't a monster, this was a person. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Very recently. What? Fire still burning. This happened recently. An assassin? Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen. I know, I was literally just thinking like, damn, this is a nice place. Like, look at that. Wow. But obviously not so much. The Russian's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Oh, shit. It's another witcher. It's another witcher. The Beast of Honorton was the Leshen. And then the witcher killed everybody? Why? Why? It seems like such a waste. No, like... Fuck. Damn. Necrophage is gross, but like, owl ghouls are huge. Because they're fucking nuts. Cuts. Shallow. But each hit an artery. Very precise. Blade pierced internal organs. Like, they knew what they were doing. Bolt. Just Snapped wonderful. In half. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Dead. So the bull snapped off. Blood. Mixed with something. That smell. Alcohol. Earthball. And wolf's bane. A potion. This blood didn't come from a peasant. Oh shit. Arm severed above the elbow. With one blow. Ah. Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Yep. But uh... Whoever this uh, this witcher was. The guy had the pitchfork, he was ready to fight him. Just cut his arm off. Imperial mustache, plump cheeks, important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Played between the ribs, straight to the heart. Damn. Holding something. Oh. Silver chain, snapped, ripped it off someone. <sighs> Shit. Stop. Oh, crap. Hey, hey. The fuck? 
a doll, and a child's footprints. Okay. This is weird. This feels very weird. What is happening here? Oh, I think you're so slick. In one window, out the other. Smart. <laughs> think you're so slick? Yeah, I was actually pretty smart. Damn. Uh huh. Gotcha. Oh, 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 you're not getting away now. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Killer! Murderer! What? I got it wrong. I'm. You've cowboys! Same as him! Was a witcher. <laughs> Same as. Did he have two swords on his back? No telling you nothing. Go away. Oh, come on. Found your doll. I could give her the doll. It's like, obviously, I could use this, you know, this sign she'll tell us. But maybe she'll be more cool about it if we give her the doll. Huh. This doll yours, maybe? It is. He got a name? Master Freckleface. <laughs> Pretty. G give him to me, please. Of course. First, tell me what happened. Uh. Shit. I do want to barter. Uh, maybe if we just give it to her, maybe she'll be cool. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so here. <laughs> now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. Oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Supermere said we best fetch a witcher. See one came. Look, lots like you, but there were evil in his eyes. He bought the spook's head sept. Uncle Silvermere weren't happy about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then he went to the barn and and. <laughs> Damn. I mean, we saw what happened in the barn. I don't think we need to have her relive it, probably. But. Uh. Shh, shh, shh. I think I know the rest. He let me go. I don't know why. And then he went that way. Towards the circle where we leave gifts for the gods. I hid in the barn. Found this line in the A. School oh. of the Cat. Thanks. You've been a big help. What'll you do? Got any family around here? Me auntie lives in Oriton. I'll take you to her. But first, I gotta see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. Shit. Oh my god. If you no. move towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. Fuck. So it not only was a witcher, but it's a it's a cat school witcher. Explains why all the attacks were so precise. Real assassin stuff. The stone circle. Need to look around. This doesn't make any sense. Why? What they were yelling Home about? Print in blood. Had his hand on his wound, slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. Footprints, barely visible. Must be him. Barely visible because it's probably a cat school trait. 
They learn to uh, not leave footprints as obviously. Blood, still fresh. It's close. Okay. Go ahead and just uh, collect them. Okay. Yikes. So we're gonna confront a, another cat school witcher. Because technically, Yad Carradine was one, but he's not really active like this person is apparently a fellow witcher well oh, shit small world son of a bitch you lost something come all that way to give me my medallion thanks craft solidarity is alive and well <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? So, now I'm curious what he mixed the potion in the barn, though. They were yelling. They were arguing. And then they went into the barn... And something happened in there. We saw the bucket. It had the, the the mixture. But I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. <laughs> now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on, you know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Not in the mood for riddles. Fifty crowns, a hundred crowns. Fifty crowns. Fifty. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell, but that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. I told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so's the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. Ah, I see. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. Uh, how'd you survive that? You slaughtered every last villager. So you decided to massacre the whole village. What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties. To the cheating. To them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel. And didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. Damn. Oh. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Cause... It doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't. Talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about ten years ago. Of old age. Damn. Well, we've had our little heart-to-heart. -heart, witcher to witcher. What now? 
Oof. Lots of innocents died in that village. Not my job to judge you. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> A lot of innocent people did die in that village. A lot of innocents died in that village. Yeah, they did. My fucking bad. Got carried away. Not the first time either, right? Wanna kill me, Wolf? Fine. Draw your blade. But don't force me to confess. Godspeed. Prepare to fight. <sighs> God damn it. Uh. Did we kill him? Should we kill him? Is that the th is that the right thing to do? Or do we let him live? Uh It's fucked up. It's fucked up what he did. But then it's also kind of fucked up the villagers kind of were trying to kill him. Just cuz they didn't want to pay him. You know? And it's like, uh, damn it. No, you, I feel like he doesn't seem very resentful. That's the other thing. He doesn't seem like he actually feels bad about it. He's like, nah, fuck him. Stand and fight. <sighs> wow. So that chat, what the hell was the point? I give folk a chance to defend themselves, unlike you. Hmm. <sighs> Awful chivalrous. A regular defender of the downtrodden. <laughs> Shall mind if I have a dose of swallow? Come on, I'm injured. It'll even the odds a bit. It's fine. Fine. Drink. Much appreciated. Behold, a witcher with honor. And no brains! Oh, you bitch. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Okay. What the fuck? Piece of shit. Oh, I can't fucking target him or anything. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I can't even block. Okay, I can't even... Oh. oh, this sucks. God, what a fucking asshole. I regret nothing now. Fuck you, dude. Okay, it's worn off. Okay. Let's fucking go. What? Lost your nerve? Oh, bitch. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, he's fucking. Oh, that was. That was a bad one. Light upon you. Should get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. God, piece of shit. We're taking his weapons too. God, what a dick. Is there anything else you leave over here? Did you leave anything? Man. Fuck you, bro. Wow. At the end of it? fucking cheated a garbage individual <sighs> I mean I get it like we were we were gonna kill him so he was kind of like why am I gonna 
actually fight fair. Still. An asshole. He wants to say he doesn't do it again, you know what I mean? You're back! I thought, thought you'd not return. That he'd hurt you too. I'm fine. And he won't hurt anyone ever again. So, so you'll take me to my auntie's? It's, it's awful here. Yeah, let's go. Sure thing. Let's go. Think I could ride on your shoulders? Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> so long as you promise not to pull my hair. I That's promise. <laughs> then hop on up. My gun. Oh, Geralt. Such a dad. That's great. Auntie! Auntie Lucy! Millie? What are you doing here, you naughty girl? I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, all right? Jeez. There was uh. a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? Uh, something like that. Another witcher did it. The spook they were having trouble with killed them. I don't want to say another witcher did it, because that just m taints the reputation of the witchers even further, you know? Plus, we're a witcher, so it's like, uh, you know? Saying another witcher did it. It's like, is she going to believe that? It wasn't us? But... Uh, something like that. You could say that. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. Used to be folk weren't so in need. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Fuck. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Times are tough. <laughs> Take the coin. Yeah, why not? Take this. Use it for food, and only food, if I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. <laughs> as long as you actually take care of these kids, Time damn it. I was on my way. No. But, but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Me? Well, that's awesome. Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? <laughs> that's great. So wholesome. This place doesn't look like it's doing too great, but hey, you know what? Better than, better than, better than the other place. Gotta say. Okay, realistically, we're gonna have to pick this up in the next episode. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching. This was awesome. This was, uh, this is kind of a cool, cool little side quest. So we went for the beast, but turns out another witcher beat us to it, and that witcher was terrible. And massacred the village. And then we had our our first real Witcher on Witcher fight. And he cheated. <laughs> but we we overcame. We persevered. And that's what matters. That's what really matters. So in the next episode. We got a couple other uh we got shock therapy. And then we got these two contracts. And then I think, then I think we're going to go to Yennefer. Unless you guys have a different plan in mind. 
let me know in the comments. <laughs> so, for real, 100%. Thank you again for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.